For a number of years now, Mojang Studios has been teasing a new Dimension update, improved ambient sounds and so much more exciting Minecraft content, but now is the time we finally get some solid answers. Today we're going to be covering the latest teaser for some upcoming update news and announcements straight from Mojang itself, along with discussing what this could mean for the next big Minecraft update, Minecraft 1.21. Feel free to use those timestamps just below that like button to get straight to the parts of the video that you are the most interested in and subscribe for more Minecraft news. So first off, let's cover the actual announcement which was recently made by Mojang Studios. This was posted on June the 26th to the official Minecraft YouTube channel community page saying what would you like to know? Ever wondered how we make our games? Curious about some Trails and Tales mechanics? We're hard at work with some new episodes of Ask Mojang and we want your thoughts or questions so that we can provide you with the answers. Ask us anything you want in the comments below. So there's definitely a few interesting bits of information to go over right there, which do give us an idea as to what we can expect in the coming weeks and months. As I'm sure you gathered by now, what Mojang is actually hinting here is the return of the very popular series on the Minecraft YouTube channel called Ask Mojang, where viewers write in, the community can write any questions, and Mojang will actually answer it. In the past, this is how we found out some very exciting news about the teased ambience update and so much more. When Mojang say they are willing to answer any questions, they really mean it. They do not back down, they do not shy away, and even if that means teasing what could be next for Minecraft, they do definitely like to tease some things. If we go back to that official announcement right there, Mojang does clarify they're working on some new episodes of Ask Mojang meaning multiple, and in the final sentence of that statement they do say ask us anything you want in the comments below. So they're not just talking trials and tales, they're not simply on about the new mechanics in the latest update, they are telling the community to ask them anything. So let's cover some of the exciting questions we can actually see answered within the coming weeks. I actually read through a ton of these comments and I really enjoyed a lot of the feedback and the suggestions, but it was actually the two top comments on this post that really stood out to me. One of them was about the long-awaited end update. We've been hearing about this for quite a while and people are really assuming that this is just around the corner, and as this comment itself did actually point out, Mojang has actually said in the past that they actually want to add new dimensions to Minecraft, but only when they're happy with the ones currently already in the game. This comment asking if Mojang has plans for a potential end update is by far the most liked as of when I'm recording this video, so there is a very high possibility that when Mojang does actually sit down to record these new episodes of Ask Mojang, this is one of the questions we will see answered. The other comment I was teasing just a moment ago did ask if Mojang have more plans to add more ambient features to Minecraft. It seems that this comment itself was actually referring to the Shooting Stars feature which we mentioned in my previous end update video. This is actually a very highly upvoted feature on the Minecraft Feedback website, so it's very awesome to see this reappear here. If you're confused though, ambience does not just mean the sound effects but also the visuals, basically making Minecraft feel more immersive and alive. So when people are talking about an ambience update for Minecraft, they they could be meaning the sound effects like we've also mentioned previously on the channel, but they could also be meaning the visuals. But yeah, in case you missed it, in a previous episode of Ask Mojang, they did actually tease that in the future they want to add new ambience to the game, add new sound effects. They released a series on the official Minecraft YouTube channel called Soothing Scenes. This is a playlist of multiple videos featuring animated scenery of Minecraft biomes with these new completely redone sound effects over the top. 
So in my favourite one for the Swamp, they did actually make these whole new ambient sound effects for the Swamp, but right now they are only available through these soothing scenes. So hopefully at some point in the near future, Mojang will give us more information about if they actually plan on adding these new sound effects which they already have completed to Minecraft. But reading the comments below this post did really highlight a few things to me. Number one is that people really want an end update. I've also myself done many polls about this over the past few weeks. And yeah, by far the end update is the most wanted and the most requested Minecraft update going into 2024, but then we also have the ambience update, which would bring whole new life to the game, and I think we do have far more information to back this up, that Minecraft 1.21 could be an ambience update. There's also been quite a few teasers over the past few years of new shaders, lighting and sound effects, and also animations coming to the game. We all know this by now, but back in 2022, Mojang accidentally released early access to RTX for Minecraft on Xbox and Tom Warren did get access to that. So right now I think it is safe for me to summarise that Minecraft 1.21, most people want it to be an end update, however I think we have the most information to back up that it could be some kind of an ambience update with new sound effects, lighting, maybe even shaders and RTX. But as I said, it is finally time we get some solid answers. This teaser by Mojang does clearly state that they're willing to answer any questions. And as of when I'm recording this video, the two biggest questions are about an ambience update and an end update. Thankfully, we will not have to speculate too much longer. If Mojang does go through with this and they do actually decide to answer these questions instead of avoiding them, then we will have some solid information about a potential end update and an ambience update very soon. This is awesome news and I am so happy that Mojang is listening to the community like this. If you've not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel with that notification bell on so that when we do get our response from Mojang, you can get a full breakdown of all of the new and important information right here. Now we're at the part of the video where you can actually help to change Minecraft. I am so grateful that sometimes the developers at Mojang Studios do check in on these videos and really enjoy reading the comments. Maybe if you have some suggestions suggestions about some upcoming features or changes you would like to see implemented, be sure to comment them down below alongside Do This Mojang. It is a great way to get your ideas out there, and not just to leave your feedback, but to read other people's comments and suggestions to help spread the word and get them out there to hopefully Mojang itself. In general though, it's just really cool to see Mojang Studios interacting with the community again and as mentioned earlier on in the video, hopefully they do ask some of these really big questions about an end update and ambience update and don't just go for the easy ones without having to reveal any new upcoming Minecraft content. Speaking of Mojang, be sure to check out this video on screen right now where we talk about their response to the Minecraft 1.20 update backlash. 